Hi boys and girls, so this video is about showcase about for my oh shit. Alright. Let's start again. Okay, so this video is to showcase my free to play account to review my free to play account before the Inazuma updates which uh, is 2.0, I guess. Yeah they announced it as 2.0. Okay, so the first of all I see I have about 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. I mean, I've got no 12 characters and only 2 5 stars. One is Mona and Kazuha. And it is my free player account. So, first of all, I have Fisher. So, now I'm trying to get my Fisher as my one of my main TPS for this account. I have another one, is Kazuha. And Kazuha sorry, it's Kaya. So, back to Fisher. So my first is level 50, my details right now is around 27 click rate and 34% of click damage It's kind of a good, good amount on this level Wait, before this Okay, I focus it Okay, I'm AR25, full level 1 Alright, so let's play again here, I forgot to say this now So I'm gonna HP was 6000 HP Around 5 this attack and weapon I gave her a rust because I just drew a rust recently and she's quite good with using rust as a main DPS. And next I gave two pieces of quick rate and two pieces of martial artists to increase the damage more and more quick rate for the easy to quit some more. So here's my artifacts, I got just plus five, plus five, plus four and I gave her an electric damage bonus as well, which is quite good when using her skill and the skill holds. And then quick rate. Article for here. No constellations and level 1 talents, level 2 here. I don't need enough material to farm. So, next we have Mona. Yeah, I just got her like yesterday and it was so fun to play her like running around. Oh my god. Oh my god. Uh, she's so poor. Then I only have one Mora. <sighs> I'm poor, so hmm. All right, let's go back here. So I gave her an, an emerald orb for the weapon, the base of the hunter and elemental mastery. I tried to like her elemental mastery higher bit, yeah, because I don't have any other weapons here. And artifacts, we go for full bonus of instructor. I tried to give her more EM. So I just attack. I don't have any hydro damage. Ah no, so. So attack EM to faster chain, plus 4 here, nothing here, energy recharge which is quite good for right now. And then attack and head speed. So this one is more not build. So I first play her as my support, so I don't really put so much effort at the other, other artifacts, but talents still level 1 because I have I'm not the assassin yet, it's still a phase 1. Next is my one of my favorite character is Kadehara Kazuha. Just say Kaju is better. So I got around uh, 262 of EM and around 8000 HP, which is quite high for me, <laughs> like almost like a tanker. So I put again here a Sky Rider Sword, or same thing, I do any other sword. So this is good for me. I haven't tried this though, but should I try with this weapon? Maybe I will try it. Not now, right. So I gave this weapon in the course, <coughs> I'll get an to recharge. So I can get easy to spam his RT. His ult is very useful, especially in low AR to clear the mobs very fast or clear some boss quite easy. So the artifact gave the same instructor bonus. Okay, most of the artifact is, is EM, Elemental Mastery. And it's also the same, Elemental Mastery, Elemental Mastery, Attack, and HP. So I try to boost his EM as high as possible. So no constellation, level 2 talents and that's all from me alright let's move forward to Kaya I just got in for level 50 and my attack is quite poor one why my pressure is so high my Kaya is so low oh come to weapon level 20 weapon so Kaya okay, enhance it nah not too deep okay so I give him the prototype record you see that I think every business account we get it and this weapon is very good to use because it gives physical damage bonus as a DPS. It's 
especially for users. So maybe a coming if my free to play account has enough primordials and I get lucky, maybe I'll get Ayaka. But the next artifact, I will have two pieces of quick red and that's all. Cross on the head, any others? I can find. I don't have any other combination for KR only right now. Because again, this plus six attack here. He got EM. And then the cryo damage bonus over here. Alright, and then quick damage here. Yeah, so it is a kind of mixed artifact here. Alright, non constellations, level 2 and level 1 talents for level 2 for normal 10, level 1 for the skills. Alright, next is Nora. So, Nora, I don't put so much effort yet because, as I said, I don't have enough resource to build most of the character. So, I give her the level 34. And then uh they won the script sword. I just just got it recently. And the artifacts, my uh, two piece berserker and two piece instructor. No constellations. Uh level one talent. So in artifacts, I try to give her more defense. Is it yeah, I give her the defense one because her skill is depend on her defense most probably as well as the talents. This one the shield is depends on the defense. The higher the no S defense. The more shit I will get, the, the higher shit I will have. So, next is Amber, the most underrated, the funny girl in Genshin Impact. I'll get to level 30 and maybe I will stop building her, or maybe not, because she is my baby. I have Xingyan. Okay, I use Amber right now most of the time because to clear some puzzle and to destroy some quiet shit easily for me because of her, some talent very fast. And uh, she's good in puzzles, it's very good to shoot the arrows, especially in right now. It's got like beginner's puzzles, most of it really able to clear it. And then I give her favorite one is poor bow. Yeah, this number weapon and the uh, mid set of uh, artifacts. Two bits of quick red, so it is more quick red for her. No consideration, level 1 talent, so this means that I didn't really build her up. Alright, furthermore, we have the MC character. So, MC right now, I'm still not planning to build her yet. It depends on my resource. If the Inazuma came, and if I can reach Inazuma as soon as possible, maybe I will build Amber and Amber. Sorry. Maybe I will build MC character. Quite good because she can be a good electro character for me. Or maybe Geo character. I'm not so sure yet. So, at the first, uh, I just simply throw a difference for her. No consideration yet. Like one talent. And next, Lisa. Lisa just didn't really build her yet because I think I don't really need her for right now. Alright, next is Xing Yen. Xing Yen, I might build her in future because I need her suit. And so she is pyro. And I don't have enough, I don't have so much pyro character here. So maybe I will be forced to build her. Unless I get Burnett. Yeah, unless I get Burnett. If not, I have to build Xing Yen. Right next, I give her the blood tank good so which give the some damage uh, if the enemy has affected by the pyro or electro to about 24% and also gives an element of mastery. So I give her the same 2 piece instructor and 2 piece fuel rate, no constellations, level 1 talents, and the last thing is Zarya. I will build her maybe after I build or my main team is ready to clear most of the content then I'll start to build her again because the major problem that I didn't build was Zarya because this I don't have any weapon that suits for her or any weapon or any spear or any spear characters yet so which makes me that I have to keep her so that's why I don't get any artifacts I'm not touching her but I get her constellation of C1 which is very good as as any content if you play her as a main TPS but if you get like C2 or C3 uh, it'll be more better. Next is Barbara. I'm still not planning to, to build her yet because I do have one hydro cutter here. So it's better Mona. If I need a healing right I can heal with my KR the talents over here. Yeah. Yeah, if I play K as a main TPS or I can heal with no else skill. So it's kind of good. Is this a skill or this? Oh, 
like this. Yeah. I can build, I can use a shield and open the screen and then just spin around to, you know, regenerate my HP easily. So that's why I don't really need to build Barbara yet. Unless in future character, I really need Barbara, so I'll just build her. So, alright, we're going to see my statue. I mean, the statue of 7 for the Joes is. I have level 5. Because I keep grinding all those Joculas. Okay, so I can level it for my wind statue, which is a bit good and it's very good for me because I have more stamina to climb the mountains, especially in Liyue. So let's open the map. So this is my car, my map. I mostly start to explore most of the place in Mostad, in here, Mostad. And then in Liyue, I still have unlocked most of the waypoints and some places here because you know it's so tiring to climb all those mountains. I mean, like, it is a must do for me to clear if I want to make my content easy or easy gameplay in future. It's a must do for me. So maybe I will try to do it as soon as possible to finish to get all the waypoints, commissions. And right now we're going to see the last thing, which is the waypoint. Yeah, the first burning tree. Alright, so I have level 4 of force burning tree here. Wait, let me upgrade it. I'll go again. So I think I have level 6, is it? Yeah, I have level 6. So, level 6 of and I got this. So, in this free deployment account, this first bearing tree is kind of important, especially the quality of those clearings that I get. It's important because look at the rewards, you can get so much free draws. Around 4 of the blue summons and then 2 of the, you know, character special banner. And then some other things, and then in the offering end, you will get one pointed head spear, which it should be you will be used for. Okay, spoilers alert if you have unlocked the quest yet, we issue the build of red pad by using a pointed head spear if you did, if you are not that lucky to get it. So it is quite important to find those clues again. And in news accounts, it seems it is not that really hard for me to click to clear jungle spine content, especially the fact with all those because first I have Kazuha I just I know I'm sorry to say it's maybe it's my life but he just really almost destroy most of the content let me easy to pass and some bosses unless the boss is animal boss so I can really do so much damage but in other places I can just clear with him very easy next I care to you know, auto attacks the future damage borders, or if I can use my future to attack for the range characters. So, this is my free play account review. That's all. Wait, I think I just still sugar my, my resource. So, look at my weapons. I don't have so much weapon over here. And then my artifacts, just normal grind. I didn't really grind other artifacts, domains, just open chest, and then some resource accession material, the food a bit. And I, yeah, I start to grind some, you know, the building materials as much as possible because when I unlock the, alright, spoiler alert, so when I unlock the teapot, then I can just strictly build and everything, not need to worry about my, you know, my, my building materials. And no hand gadgets, yeah, so that's all for me for my free to play on car review. And see you in the next video.